Hello guys, thanks for clicking this video. This project is AD8313 logarithmic dissector. It will detect from 100 megahertz up to 2.5 gigahertz. The circuit is very very simple. I have several videos about AD83 series icings, but this one is compact version. As you can see, very easy the IC solder to the adapter. One telescopic antenna is connected, small one. The LM386 as amplifier is available here with a small size. The power supply is very very important part of this project. The input voltage is 5 volt exactly. I used one regulator IC here. I have also several videos about regulator ICs. That's it. You can see the pin 1 is input voltage. The pin 2 is input frequency, the pin 8 and 7 is output, as you can see it is connected to the LM386. I'm going to test device with a uh, cordless phone, do remote key, 600 MHz to 6 GHz noise generator, and one mobile phone to check the Bluetooth and 900 megahertz frequency. Very good. Don't forget the device can detect from 100 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz. To test the project, at first I'm going to turn on my mobile phone Bluetooth like that very well I will try to search the device to generate some frequency here very nice the sound that you have is Bluetooth sound I will stop The device can detect Bluetooth very nice. I will try USSD codes to check 850 and 900 megahertz frequency. I will dial. Very good. The sound is also was for the 800 meg 850 megahertz. The next test is dual remote key, it is 433 megahertz. This worked also well. I'm going for cordless mobile phone, 1.2 gigahertz. Very nice, as soon as I'm turning on the phone the noise will generate it. Very good. I'm going for the 100 megahertz to 6 gigahertz noise generator. This EB version. Very good. You can see. Very good. So, when the device can detect to 2.5 gigahertz it is very good to detect Wi-Fi LTE GPRS 3G 4G and the other for example I'm going to test with the Wi-Fi with this mobile phone very nice you can get exactly the noise one more time I will turn off the Wi-Fi 
one more time I will turn it on you can see as soon as I'm connecting the noise will generate it that's it this is one of the best and low cost low garrisonic RF detector no need to go for the commercial RF detectors it is easy to box it and use as audio converter like me and LED indicators I have one special video about LED indicators and also the power supply can work with coin 3 volt battery and the maximum current that the IC need to run is 40 milliamps like 2 3 LEDs and this inexpensive RF detector is 8 pin and work very very nice thank you very much to check this video thanks for watching again goodbye